we've been doing it for a long number of years, you know, it's uh, 30 years nearly, I suppose. Well, since I've been retired, uh, it's my hobby and that's my, in it's my main interest, really. It keeps me going, thinking that, well, if I can win, uh, I'm going to get some satisfaction from it, which you do. Uh, I mean, get a card at one of the big shows is, makes it all worthwhile. Today is Wednesday the 22nd of September, lifting day for Malvern Autumn Show. The ones I've lifted so far are not, not, tired, not my best, but I'm hoping I'm going to lift some better ones this afternoon. This season has been <laughs> one of the more difficult ones. I know they're all difficult, but the weather this year has been up and down right through the spring and summer, and uh, it makes it very difficult. Well, these are the aubergines, and I'm pretty hopeful with this one at the moment. It's the biggest aubergine I've ever grown. This might be the one. I'm going to try and not damage it this time. Well, this is the moment of truth, isn't it? 6.84 pounds. I think the record's about seven pounds. It's a good way. <laughs> it's a good way, perhaps for a win. It's not a good way to get a world record, is it? Yeah, I'm fortunate to have my wife who can help me. Uh, lifting the vegetables like um, swede, which are heavy, or rabbi, which are heavy, it's quite difficult on your own. Fortunately, my wife uh, supports me with that. I, I met Peter through a mutual friend, and this friend said. There's a dance at the New York Golf Club Saturday. Do you want to come and meet my friend? I mean, all right, I'll come. And so I met the, the friend. And, um, and I thought, oh, he's nice. Oh, he's nice. And I've been here ever since. <laughs> well, I've always helped him doing fetching and carrying. Well, he helps me with things that I'm interested in, and so I help him. <laughs> Growing is our life. <laughs> that large pup proved to be rotten underneath where it had been resting on the ground. So I've had to cut it off because obviously you can't show it with a rotten pup on it. <laughs> I've got to try and just clean the root up because you're not supposed to have any root on. That probably cost me a win, that. Yeah, this year I've been using the canna products, uh, mainly grown in uh, uh, canna coir. I, I'm really impressed with them. Uh, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm going to be keep using them. They're really good, you know, it's really been good for me. I'm looking forward to going to Malvern because, well, I haven't met a lot of the competitors for almost two years now. I think I've got about 17 entries at Malvern this year. So I'm hoping at least I can get one or two red cards. Yes, I understand Guinness World Record team are going to be on site at Malvern this weekend. I don't think I've got a world record coming, but publicity from Guinness World Records is really good for Giant Veg. I would hope, um, you know, somebody will, will have a world record. When we get the veg up, I've got to try and keep it cool. Veg soon loses weight if it's out in the hot sun. I have to wrap most of them in damp towels just to try and keep, uh, keep them fresh. It's also the towels cushion them a bit so it stops them uh, chafing you know, on the car. And... So careful packing is, yeah, that's a secret in a way. Careful packing, particularly when you've got a car load to pack up. There's no doubt that Malvern is the top show for, for giant veg and, and probably for the other veg, but certainly for the giant veg, Malvern's a top show and the standard seems to go up every year, so the growers are, <laughs> are putting more effort in or getting better at it. I 
found today pretty good. We got unloaded pretty well, looking quite good in some of the classes, particularly looking good in the aubergine class. When I lifted it uh, yesterday afternoon, I couldn't really remember what the world record was, uh, and I thought I needed to be um, a bit heavier. But anyway, it turns out that it's just beat it, so <laughs> I said that's a, well, a surprise and a pleasant surprise, actually. Peter Glazebrook. So Peter this morning was uh, awarded the new Guinness World Records title for the heaviest aubergine. That was 3.12 kilograms. He had to beat 3.06 uh, and he did it by 60 grams. He takes his count of current records to three, but he has now 17 altogether uh, in his career as a grower. I'm feeling really good this morning, finding that uh, I've got the world record and approved. And I've got first in, well, I think about six other classes as well, and several, several seconds and thirds and fourths and fifths. Well, as soon as we, as soon as we finish with the shows, it's thinking about what we're doing next year, which I'm already thinking now that uh, I'll be growing most of the veg again, and uh, it's clearing up and then starting again. I'm Peter Glazebrook, and I'm Canna.